Our next speaker is Chi Wang, and the title of his talk is Real-Time Confocal Microscopy of Biofilm on Metal Exposed to Alternating Magnetic Fields, AMF, and Antibiotics, and his mentor is Rajiv Chopra. Uh, thank you for the introdu introduction. Uh, the, my research is, uh, is basically to understand the uh, mechanism behind the uh, int interaction of AMF, antibiotics, and uh, biofilms. Okay, first, uh, we know uh, total knee arthroplasty, uh, arthroplasty is a very common surgery um, that can relieve pain and restore function uh, to an arthritic knee. So there, there's uh, all, over one million procedures per year, and uh, b based on this prediction, there will be over three uh, million by 2030. However, about one to two percent of these procedures will experience infection after surgery. So nowadays, the treatment of the pro prosthetics joint uh, infection, PGI, uh, is, is mainly revision surgeries, which means to remove the old uh, infectious implant out first and then uh, do an extended antibiotic uh, treatment to the patient. And after that, uh, then put a new um, implant back. So it's very patient for uh, it's very um, very painful for the patient and uh, it's very costly. The annual cost uh, to treat the PGI uh, in the United States is about one billion dollars per year. And given the trend of the uh, procedures of TKA, you can imagine how much it will reach by 2030. Uh, why is the PGI is to, so hard to treat? Um, because when the inf infection happens. The uh, bacteria will attach on the surface of the Im implant, and th then the bacteria will secrete some uh, extracellular polymeric substance, EPIs, um, as a protection layer uh, for the uh, antibiotics. So the bacteria in the biofilm, uh, which forms biofilm, uh, the bacteria in the biofilm is much more resistant to antibiotics. So that's why uh, the, in the infection related to uh, biofilm is too hard to treat. Um, to solve this, this, to solve this, our lab is wor uh, working on using uh, induction heating by, out, uh, by high frequency alternating magnet field (MF) uh, to eliminate the biofilm. As we learned in high school, uh, if we put a metal piece, a piece of metal in an alternating magnet field (MF), there will be uh, induction current on the uh, uh, induction current, and then there will be heat generated. Um, uh, and uh, uh, if we use a higher high count, uh, frequency, um, the current will be only on the surface. Like here, when we put a, a metal cylinder in AMF, and if we raise the frequency, you can see uh, the energy was almost deposited on the surface. So that's where the biofilm grows. So we, we anticipate to uh, eliminate the biofilm this way. Um, Moreover, because uh, because uh, MF only work on uh, uh, metal, so it has little in interaction with the soft tissue. Um, we've done some in vitro studies. We put a washer in uh, MF. Uh, the MF is generated by the solenoid coil, and the washer is also inoculated with uh, a pseudomonas uh, biofilm. And you can see after uh, like six minutes of uh, exposure, the numbers of bacteria. Um, there's a, over f a four logs of reduction in the numbers of bacteria. And we have also done some research of the synergistic effect of EMF and uh, antibiotics. So uh, as you can see here, uh, for all those four concentrations uh, of uh, antibiotics, there's little effect uh, for, the for, the, for the bacteria if there's no uh, EMF. However, only after three minutes of uh, coil exposure, you can see the extended uh, uh, sensitivity of the bacteria to, MI, uh, to the antibiotics. So it suggests there's some kind of uh, synergistic effect between the a AMF and uh, um, antibiotics. But how they work together and uh, what's the mechanism behind that? Um, to answer this question, we, uh, we build a compact AMF system that can fit on a microscope. 
So we expect to achieve real-time microscope, uh, microscopic images of biofilm with the MF. Uh, here is the structure of the, device, uh, of the system we built. Um, there, this is a biofilm inoculated wash, uh, uh, stainless steel washer that can put in this flow cell. And uh, there's also media flowing in the flow cell to keep the vitality of the biofilm. Uh, this is a uh, printed circuit board based uh, planar coil that can place on the top with uh, which will generate AMF. Uh, then we did some uh, heat, uh, heating problems test on the microscope. Uh, this is a uh, planar coil that was covered with uh, a 3D print, uh, printed uh, water, water, cooling, water cooling jacket. And this is a flow cell and the tube, uh, there's a medium flow inside. So the temperature of the washer can reach as high as 70 degrees at max maximum power in 10 minutes. And uh, uh, it can reach about above and keep 55 degrees uh, at uh, 8.5 watts. So that's a condition we use for the microscopy uh, later. Then we did, uh, we did some microscopy studies. Uh, we, uh, we used the uh, a uh, live dead uh, kit, uh, staining kit to stain the biofilm. So the dead ba live bacteria can stain green and uh, the dead bacteria is, uh, is stained red. So uh, we can monitor how the biofilm changes during the MF exposure. Also, uh, the biofilm EPS is stained, um, stained blue. Uh, you can see f uh, in the time series of uh, uh, Microsoft image uh, where the MF is uh, is is, pos is posing. The the green color which sh showing the uh, lab bacteria is uh, decreasing, and uh, the red color uh, showing the dead bacteria in increased. Also, uh, the blue color which shows the biofilm EPS uh, decreased. Uh, here's the animation which shows this process more clearly. Uh, you can find a spot like here. Um, it's apparently it's turning from green to red, and it's, the size is also diminishing. And you can also see from the side view, um, the thickness of the biofilm is uh, decreasing during the process. Okay. Uh, after all, we uh, we build a microscope com compatible uh, AMF system, and we have achieved some uh, biofilm elimination images. Uh, under the MF uh, using a time-lapse microscope. And in the future, we can use this system uh, to do more synergy studies with antibiotics like to uh, find out uh, the mechanism be, uh, of the interaction between MF and uh, antibiotics and uh, how to, uh, how to let, them anti let the antibiotics and the MF work together to uh, limit the uh, biofilm, which, uh, what's the best way? Uh, and uh, we can use a higher power, so we will we can we we can have uh, more heating modes that give us uh, more possibilities for the uh, for the um, for the treatment. After uh, at last, I want to I want to thank my uh, mentor, uh, Dr. Chopra, and uh, uh, the collaborator, uh, Dr. Greenberg, and the lab members. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to uh, take questions. So, Todd, do you have a question? Uh, good uh, in the ex vivo experiment, the washer experiment, mm -hmm. is it just me, or did after the first time signature, the signal actually went up for the live? Uh, uh, sorry? In the, in the time sequence you have? Yeah, yeah. You have the first picture where it seems things seem to be kind of mostly neutral. And in the first picture, the live signal actually goes up. It yeah, that's like. a thing we, uh, we also noticed about with still need to figure out why. Mm, okay. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Yes. Thank you. I just wanted to ask you if you were quantifying this. Right now it looks pretty impressive in color. I'm concerned about is there a partial volume effect in the image and can you actually quantify the amount of kill that you've achieved? Uh, yeah, actually we are working on it now. Um, it's uh, some preliminary data and we uh, working on, on that quantification. That can be quantified uh, in the software. So I have a question for you. 
So my question has to do with scalability. So when you do these, uh, when you build the AMF coil, right? Yeah. The amount of power you're going to be able to deliver is going to depend on the size of the coil. Yeah. It's going to be much harder. So how do you envision this being used in vivo if you've even thought about it uh, so can, far? I think we can use um, temperature as a standard, like how, much, how the temperature will reach after like a few AMF exposure uh, to quantify how much uh, the heat will be deposited. Yeah, but I think we know from physics mm -hmm. that, that the amount of, of energy you can deposit even on the skin is going to depend on the on inversely on the diameter of the coil. Yeah. So you're going to have to increase the, the, probably the number of kilowatts you drive it with. And the yeah. question is, is this, is this, is it, you think it's feasible to do this in humans going forward in uh, vivo without, you know, like uh, externally apply this? Yeah, 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 yes, of course. Uh, uh, this is, uh, that's for the mechanism of study and the real work on, uh, done some work uh, based on real knee implant uh, with much higher power but we're working on that, also working on that. Good, it'll be great if it works. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you.